Hello, today I'm playing Gradius Galaxies on the Game Boy Advance. This is an exclusive that was only on the Game Boy Advance. And I believe it was made by an outside company, not Konami themselves. I am really bad at shoot 'em ups, so I'm going to be playing this on easy today, and I likely will not be able to beat it, but you never know. I've never been able to beat it in the past, but I do enjoy it every time I play it. It just gets to a certain point where it throws a ton of stuff on the screen and my mind just can't dodge all the stuff. I've always loved the Gradius series, how you can power yourself up and get m very powerful, but I don't like how you can lose it all just by running into a wall. And they also send you back quite a bit and you're, you have to go through the section again with just a little pea shooter. Now, not every game in the series was like that, Life Force is kind of in the same series as this. It's more like a spinoff, but the NES version of that, when you died, it put you right back in the same spot that you died. I like that concept a lot better. Gradius games are just prone to rage quitting, at least for me. But that's enough talking. Let's start playing the game. So let's look at the options. Oops, do that again. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. So I have it on easy. I have lives set at nine. And I'm gonna keep rapid fire on. So everything looks good there. Maybe. All right, so let's start. And it's gonna allow me to configure my ship to a certain extent. So I'm gonna choose option D. This is basically the power-ups that are gonna be available to me as I play the game. And then I get to choose which kind of shield I like. I've learned that the force field is better, at least for me. And then power up. Do you want it to automatically give you certain power ups? I'm gonna say yes to that because it actually does a pretty good job. It doesn't pick them all for me. It leaves, it still leaves me with like 80% of the choices. Alrighty. And the thing about it being a handheld version is that the stages are very short. So when you do get killed, it doesn't send you too far back. There's a lot of eye candy, as you can see. We already have some good views. These rocks in the background are just in the background. I can't run into them. I'm gonna choose double. I have to choose between, between double and laser. Those. Uh, counteract each other. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with how the power-up system in Gradius works. Basically you gather these capsules and it moves that meter on the bottom and I just powered up laser again. And at any time you can uh, cash in that meter so to speak and uh, get more powerful. Right there it automatically gave me an option that's, that's the little um, dot that follows my ship around and doubles my firepower. Pretty cool. And this game allows me to have like four of those, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. So I'm not going to speed up anymore because if I go any faster, it'll be too fast. Ooh, that's always a tough spot. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably going to see me freak out a lot <laughs> when the, when things get tight like that. But we already have a lot of firepower, so... We're doing pretty good so far. Let me know if you've played this game, and if so, do you like it? Do you like the Gradius series in general? There's a lot of games in the series, and hopefully with this, with this, with these playthroughs or attempted playthroughs I'm doing, uh, I will get to see some of the ones that I've never played before. I've played a little bit of Gradius 3, is that what it is, on the Super Nintendo? And 
That's a little bit enjoyable. I've just never put much effort into it. But that's one of the reasons I'm recording these playthroughs, is to force myself to play my games. And when I say force, it's not a negative thing, it's just... It, I'm enjoying playing through my collection and recording it and sharing it with you. So right here we have a boss, and my beard is itching. And with these power-ups, it should be, should be pretty easy. I just gotta shoot it right at, right down the middle. My southern accent's trying to come out. <laughs> My mom was a southerner, and she has a thick southern accent, and I inherited a little bit of that. All right. We got one stage out of the way, and like I said, it was pretty short. It gives you a lot of, uh, let's do another option. It gives you a lot of power-ups, this game, compared to the other ones, especially for how short the games are, or the, st the stages. Let's do the missiles, let's double up on the missiles, so now I have even more powerful missiles. The game is starting to slow down now. I don't know if it's because of my firepower. Seems to be, that seems to be why, but it's also doing some lightning effects. And here we're gonna be destroying some ice as we go through this stage. At least that's what I think it is. I just need a couple more power-ups so I can get the shield. That's what I really need. But that won't help me if I just go through a wall or something, so... This is going to demand a lot of concentration, especially later. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get our shield automatically. There we go. I think on easy it makes it so these ground targets don't shoot at me, so, you know... I kind of feel like I'm cheating a little bit. That was a tricky part right there. You don't want to trap yourself, so you gotta... Let's go above. But I'm just gonna, you know... I know it's kind of cheating playing it easy, but... It's there for a reason. It's there for people like me. And I just lost my whole entire shield from that one object. I get to see more of the game, at least, you know. Ah! Oh, okay. So let's see where it puts me. See how far back it puts me. I'm not too scared because, like I said, they give you a lot of power-ups and we'll get back into shape here. That This stage might actually be easier with a weaker weapon because you don't want to take too many of these things out at once and cause some kind of avalanche. Up! Oh, I just boxed myself in. Or oh, wait, is it going to let me out? I saw some things falling. Uh, Alright, well, I'm learning. We're just going to have to go at the bottom. Yay. Ah, I screwed myself again. Doing really bad, but that's the way it goes. So let's go through the middle. There we go. I got some strategy going on right now. I could 
to use a few power-ups. There's one. The red guys always have the power-ups. Let's go above. I love the enemies in Gradius, they just have their own kind of characteristics. There's a lot of them that walk along the walls and hop and stuff like that. It's just a little bit different than the other shoot 'em ups. Alright, see if I can get through this part. I can't remember how far I got before I died. Is that it? That might be it. Okay, so I'm kind of in a weakened state. I could tell it to do lasers. Yeah, since it's a boss, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I didn't know it was going to give me another option. I could have picked... I could have grabbed that and picked option. Oh well. Okay, this one I think is pretty easy. I'm just going to shoot out the little um, barriers. It's going to take a while. Is that even reaching it? Yeah, it is. And then I'm going to I'm going to shoot those eyeballs that are going up the side there. And all these things appear on the bottom at the top and they don't seem to do anything. I think it's because I'm on easy. Normally they would be firing bullets, but still it's going to take a while to get these eyeballs shot out. And I don't want to get... I want to stay over here. It's kind of like the safe spot. They'll start turning red once they get enough damage. Those things are kind of scary, but they won't hit me if I'm over here. So we got a few of them turning red over there. And this is the fastest I can fire. So we're just going to bear with it. I might be able to creep over there and speed things up, but those are famous last words. I think it fires faster when I'm closer. The red ones should start to disappear. There they go. One of them is still blue. Let me mix up the timing here a little bit. Ah. I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how I destroyed it. I didn't shoot all of them. Guess we'll never know. Maybe it felt sorry for me. I'm going to switch to double because the laser is just too slow. Let's do double again. This allows me to shoot backward. The music is pretty good. This part is a little confusing because sometimes I can't tell what I'm able to touch and what I can touch, or what I can't touch, I should say. It's hard to talk and play this at the same time sometimes. Whoa! That was close. I could use some more firepower. Let's see, can I get that? I think those fire dogs or whatever they're called. I remember there being a boss or something like that in Life Force. 
on the NAS. Ooh, look at all of those. Wow. All right, I'm not gonna grab that. I don't get too close to this thing. Let's double our missiles. I would say that this, this music isn't as good as the other tunes in the game. It just sounds kind of harsh. But once again, it's slowing down a little bit. I think it's because once you get three or four options, it starts to do that. My thumb is kind of wearing out too. I think this is gonna be a dragon that goes all, all around the screen. And it's just a matter of predict, predicting where it's gonna be. It just said shoot it in the head, so that's my clue. Gonna go behind me. Whoa, that was close. I could speed up, but I don't want to. Whoa. Screen scrolls a little bit. Ah, oh, I died. So now what happens? Speed up. Ah, oh, okay. Well, now things are getting more interesting. I doubled my missile though, so I'll try to hit him in the head with that. <laughs> Where are you at? Come out, come out. Shoot it in the head. He sure is taking his time. I think I'm starting to memorize the pattern. So even if I die again, I think I'll be in better shape each time. It's gonna go behind me. Like that. That's the part that's a little bit tricky right there. Now it's gonna dive like below me and head straight up. There we go. I made sure I got a missile on him. There we go. Pretty cool game. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good game, huh? If I can talk. Double. Ah, you gotta have a volcano if it's a Gradius game. This one's actually a little tricky to get past sometimes. At least it stopped blowing the chunks <laughs> when I got closer to it.
My thumb is getting sore just from holding it down, holding down the button. The Retron 5 controller is not the most comfortable thing. I'm amazed that they can't make controllers that are much better than the ones of the late 80s, early 90s, you know. And I realize that you can, you can use other types of controllers, and I do for some of my videos, but for this I just decided to use the Retron's own controller. And I don't even think this is the one that came with it. Ooh, this is tricky. This is tricky! Oh man! That's gonna be hard to get through. I think I purchased these separately. I purchased my Retron a long time ago and it hasn't really had much use until I started doing these videos. And I'm just amazed at how much it plays, you know. I'm playing Game Boy Advance on the TV. It's not the best picture. I'm sure there's a little bit of delay. But it's great for recording, you know. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get past this part. Oh, man. Stupid volcanoes. My nemesis. Maybe I should take two speed ups and just kind of scoot past the volcanoes. That's what I'll do. I just need to clear, clear that part so that if I die again, I don't have to continue and repeat that part. But as you can see, the, the second speed up just goes so much faster than the first one. Ah, oh, okay, so that didn't work. So what I, I plan on doing, like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to beat this, but I'm going to pretty much play until I, I exhaust myself. I think there's unlimited continues in this. So it's just, you know, if I end up getting killed like 10 times in a row at one spot, I'm probably going to think about ending the video, but we'll see. Whoa, that was close. There we go. Here's here's how you do it. Oh man! All my other playthroughs, I've never been hit by that volcano because usually when I come through here, I have everything. But, uh, but I made a small mistake at the beginning. That's life. Oh, another mistake maybe. Nope. That might help. Where's the best place to stay? Right here? Ooh, it stopped. That's a good sign. Whew. Now I just gotta stay alive so I don't have to repeat that part. And those kind of challenges, are, there's more of them coming, so just to warn you. These waterfalls will push you down. And those get tricky as well. And these things appear, <laughs> appear to be a pair of testicles. Ready for another boss. Oh, why did it give me laser? I did not want it to pick laser. That took away my double. Not 
I want my double back, so I switched it back. Ah, okay. All right, I'm getting challenged a little bit here, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep that set up. Let me just take a look at these other ones. The first one's always speed up. Ripple is interesting, but I'm going to stick to what works or what's barely working in my case. Force field, power-ups automatic. Here we go. Let's see how far back it put me. Am I gonna get the fall? No, I'm not. I was going to say, I don't want to do the volcanoes again. This is where it can get tricky because there's enemies at the same time as the waterfalls are pushing you and stuff, you know. It's tricky. And then you need to start scrolling all the way down. It's a little bit tricky. I'm sure you guys can do better than me, but... Well, I guess it doesn't want me going up there. It pushed me back down. All right, another boss. Let's do the lasers. And I believe I want to be right here, if I remember correctly. I played this a lot recently. In fact, I tried recording it before, but I messed up the recording. I, the game was cut off on the screen in the recording, so I decided to play it again. And I don't mind playing this game again, because it's fun. Maybe. Oh, okay. This one might take me a while, but I have beat that boss. Oh man, it's not going to give me any power-ups at all. But I have beat this guy with just this pea shooter, so. You start off behind him and destroy this, fr this piece first. Sometimes he traps you and kills you up there. I think it's random. Come on. And then you really got to get out of the way because he'll go right over you. Alrighty. And then these bubbles come. And the best place to be when the bubbles come is right here. You can. Ah, it's a, you have to start moving out of the way before the bubbles are finished, so we'll just keep working on this. Destroy the core. Destroy the core. Let's see if I can make it go all the way down here. It might follow me. Okay, there we go. So dodge the lasers. Whoa. So I'm at very slow speed here, so it's hard to do. Now I need to start moving back. Ah, I just don't have enough speed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to overcome this. And like I said, this is, this is the big flaw with most of the Gradius games. It becomes really hard to overcome when you've been stripped of your power-ups and you have this pea shooter. 
Whoa. Come all the way down here. Ah! Backed over me. That reminds me of the first boss of uh, Super Smash TV. Now he backs over you. <laughs> again and again and again. Stay down here. Okay, that's a good pattern. But now what? He's gonna vaporize me with his lasers. Get away, get away! Whoa! Can I destroy him right here? Die! Yes! Die, monster! Like that. I think that's from House of the Dead. video game. Alrighty. Ah, it's so nice to be able to move again at, at this speed. Now, let's get the party started. Alright. Ah, yes. It's not a greatest game unless you have Easter Island headstones. And we're going to see very a lot of different uh, versions of them. This is the standard version. They just shoot little round things at you. Those round things remind me of the, uh, I believe it's called a Rinka that's in Metroid on the NES. I used to love that game. I'd go to school, talk to my friends about some of the stuff that went down. Last night when I played Metroid, you know, on the NES. And we talked about finding the secret, secret, secret rooms um, we called them secret worlds, actually. And we just thought that was so cool. It was like glitches where you can get inside the door and creep up a, like, jump up a wall and get into places you're not supposed to go to. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that game or whatever. But it was so fun to go to school and just talk about those things the next day. What I, what the stuff I found in the game, you know, there was so much exploration games were becoming places you can explore yes there were Atari 2600 games you can you can explore you know but it's very blocky it wasn't during the NES era that it became it felt like a lot more you know this blue thing destroys everything except for these guys apparently these red ones regenerate. I believe that's the, what they do. You shoot them and they regenerate. The boss is also a bunch of headstones, so get ready for that. These guys send their little babies after you. Sometimes the babies are in bubbles, sometimes they're not. It's all a matter of how stoned <laughs> the programmers were when they were working on this stage. I almost got killed there. These guys are firing bullets at me. I don't like that. The game is slowing down. I can feel it. It's not moving at the same rate as when it began. It's putting more things on the screen. Ah, look at that. Do another missile. There we go. We are set now. And now it's even slowing down even more. I would stop firing, but it's not a good idea. 
Now right here, I do not actually know what I'm supposed to be aiming at. They will eventually all explode and die, but there's not like a point where it, you know, like a core that appears that, that I can see. There's some glowing parts. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to shoot. Whoa, some of those are getting very close. I think I'm just supposed to shoot everything, you know. Sometimes when those guys come after you like that, they loot, they have a huge gap in between them, and sometimes it's tiny. My last playthrough attempt, it was always the big gap, and this time it's the smaller gap, so I don't know. Some kind of random thing going on. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's not much of a big gap. Oh, no, 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 no. These guys are going to be a lot tougher now. Let's see if there's that cluster of power-ups. That's going to help. At least that, oh, if I would have gotten them all. Okay. Well, now this is going to take a long time. <laughs> but let's see if it does an easier pattern this time. And I'll make use of this missile. It's going to be hard to dodge those bubbles. I'm not sure. I know I've said this before, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through this part. Is that a bigger gap? No, I don't think so. Eat my missiles. Maybe they'll speed things up. Oh god, here comes the whatever you call these things. Oh man. Alright. Let's give it one more shot. Maybe I can get all these. Well, let's give it one more shot after this time. Oh. It didn't appear to Okay. Well, this part's going to be a little bit too difficult. If I had kept my power-ups and blew through those headstones, I probably would have got a few more stages in. The bosses get a little bit harder and harder and harder. Um, but still, I enjoy playing this game. And I will probably be playing it again in the future sometime. But uh, in the meantime, I want to play some of the other Gradius games, including Life Force. I love that. I have a couple of other videos on the screen that you might be interested in. May your games make you happy and smart, and may people respect you for playing them. So long, everybody.